Hello everybody, this is a very quick video. You don't have to read what's on the screen. This is just to put something on the screen. Uh, this is for the extra credit alternative assignment. And so what I'll do is I will give you uh, 10 points extra credit for doing each one of these alternative assignments. Remember that the total for extra credit can't exceed 20 points. So that's both, that includes both the studies that you can do, those little surveys that are online, um, plus these alternative assignments. So everything in total can only go to a maximum of 20 points. Uh, but I think that 10 points per alternative assignment is fair in the sense that it will probably take you a little bit more time to do those alternative assignments than a survey. So for 10 points in an alternative assignment, what you'll be doing is you'll be selecting an article related to your course. I have two courses I'm offering this to. IntroPsych, so IntroPsych would be just anything that has to do with psychology. And then for the developmental course, the 201, it should be an article on development. Uh, I will sort of sweeten the pot by saying you can do it uh, in relationship to your change proposal. It's just that you can't have that as part of your study review paper or annotated bibliography. So you can't double dip, if you will. So it has to be a new article. And for both classes, uh, this, the articles need to be peer reviewed and need to be an empirical study. So it'd be like your study review paper. So it's an empirical study uh, where they collect data and they analyze the data and they report on the data. And so uh, you need pre-approval. So you'll need to email me just the citation, which would be, you know, the authors, the title of the article, the journal it's published in, and things like that, and the abstract. Uh, don't send me links to a, a search that you found it in, etc. Don't uh, cut and paste everything. Uh, just email me the citation and the abstract and then I'll approve it. So these need pre-approval in terms of the article that you'll be doing. And then what you'll do is basically a one-page write-up. So you'll read the article and you can sort of follow the standards that we've been talking about before is that you know definitely read the introduction, uh, read the, the methods for understanding, you can skip the results section because those are statistics and those are a little bit technical and you might not understand them. And you read the discussion. So intro discussion, read carefully. Method, read for understanding. And you don't need to read the statistics, the research um, results, the results section of the articles. And so it's a one-page summary. And so in that summary, so I'd say one paragraph is just summarizing the article in your own words. So it's a summary, so just one paragraph. And then I want another paragraph about your thoughts. So your insights, your reflections, your ideas, any comments that you have about the article. So two paragraphs, one summary. So it's a brief summary in your own words. And then the, the second paragraph, uh, your understandings, your reflections, ideas that you had while you read the article. So uh, for every one page of that is going to be 10 points. And I'll, this will say this in the assignment portal, but when you submit your extra credit, make sure it's all, all in one document. So let's say you, you did two surveys and you have the completion screenshot of that. And then you did one of these alternative assignments. Uh, so have it all in one document. So you'd have one page of your article summary and there'd be a page of a screenshot from uh, one study and then probably another page of 
the other screenshot. Although if you know media well enough, you might have two screenshots on one one page. Uh, so make sure that it's one document uh, so that I can see all of your extra credit in just one document that you'll submit on Blackboard. I think that's it. I think that's all the details. Do ask me if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, if you just follow this, uh, you'll be good to go. So I'll see you in class.